What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, welcome to my channel and thank you guys for watching. This video today is going to be a makeup tutorial, as you guys can see from the thumbnail. Um, it's my first time attempting to do a halo makeup look, a halo shadow, I would say. I really like the way it turned out. I really like the colors, the different type of colors, the browns, the that green, that pop of green. Um, it was supposed to be like a spring color, I mean a spring makeup tutorial, but then I kind of got carried away with the colors. But I think we can still call it a spring of uh, halo makeup look. <laughs> it's a little outside, my comfort zone is a little bit outside what I normally do, but I really wanted to film something like this for you guys and um yeah so if you guys want to see um how i achieve uh, this uh, makeup uh, look all you have to do is go ahead and keep watching okay ladies so let's go ahead and start with um a moisturizer of course um i use the derma e pore no purifying moisturizer all over i am going to go into my brows first normally i do that and i'm using this morphe eyeshadow palette and i'm just grabbing colors that are going to suit me well when it comes to drawing out my um eyebrows because i ran out of the pencil and i'm just you know winging it and just like whatever i can use whatever i have at home so here i'm just filling my brows um i pretty much like to do my brows first um, because like that I can get like a clear vision of what my eyes would look like because if my brows are really intense then I can do my look not as intense you know what I mean I don't know it's just a thing it's just a habit I picked up lately so yeah the brows will look a little on the wall side but we're gonna fix that now we're going with the modern renaissance palette by Anastasia and we're grabbing that corner color right in the corner yes of course it's in the corner <laughs> and I'm going to apply that as my transition and as my crease shadow I'm doing the same thing to my other eye and I have fluted eyes so it's kind of like hard to do makeup then I'm using the ColourPop Cosmetics um, Loose Shadows and I am using that green color right in there. It's like a metallic green color. It is beautiful. I will have the name on the bottom. And then I am using a, just a regular sponge um, applicator and I am grabbing color. And here you can only see that I do this once but I do this like two, three, four times until I get the intensity I want. Then with that same Anastasia um, palette, I am using the dark brown in the other corner to pretty much create a halo effect. I was not going for a halo, halo effect until I saw that it was a little too plain the green and it needed a little pop of color. So I'm just grabbing that dark color and I am just applying that in the inner corners of my eyes and the outer corners of my eye. And then I am blending that on pretty much close to the crease just to make sure that everything is well blended. Again, this is my first time attempting a halo. So please don't judge. <laughs> I just love that um, combination of green and brown. So here, since I already knew that I was going to do the halo, I went in and, tr and tried doing it a different way um, by applying the darker brown on both ends of the eyes, on the inner corner and the outer corner, and then blending that um, upwards. And I'm using that brush that comes with this Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Pretty cool, actually. So then you see me here packing on the green shadow, and that is pretty much what I do. And honestly, I kept doing it like over and over again until I made it sure that everything was very well blended. And it showed and it looked um, looked decent. <laughs> oh, it is very hard though. I guess once you get the hang of it. So I made sure that everything was well, well blended. That's the key we want here. Well blendation. <laughs> that is even a word. I don't think that's a word, but let's just go with it. So as you can see here, I went over and over and over and over, over again. Again, I guess it was my first time, so I didn't know to get it. And then the same thing I did on my eyes, I did that on my bottom, excuse me, I am actually a little sick, actually allergies, so excuse my voice. So I just applied that dark, that orangey color and a little bit of that dark brown on my bottom lash line, just to pretty much make sure that my bottom lashes are like, hello, I am here too. Okay, so now I'm moving on with lashes and I'm using this Pure Lashes by, yes, I'm using the lashes by Pure. And ladies, like, yes, I'm telling you, these lashes are so, so good. These are the Jet Setter, if I'm not mistaken. So now let's move on to face. Dr. Brandon, pores no more. We only know pores in our face. All right, so let's get them out. 
actually that's full of men. <laughs> then I'm using the NYX um, HD color corrector in green to color correct all the retinas areas of my face which I just don't understand where all this retinas came from like blue. Yeah and I go hammer on it, don't worry about it, I fix it a little bit. NARS of course, my holy girl foundation at the moment. And I just dab a little bit of that foundation all over my face and then I'm going in with the L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible Foundation and I put a little bit of those drops as well. They're both luminous glowy foundation but I set it with powder I know but the reason why I like these foundations is because I have such dry skin so even though I have powder on I know that the foundation that I'm wearing is not gonna keep drying my face. So just blending it with an elf buffing brush. I have been obsessing with this brush lately how amazing um, and flawless it leaves the foundation. So then um, after I make sure that everything is well blended, I go in with the NARS Creamy Concealer uh, and I think this is in Custard. And I apply that usually of course. You guys already know the drill where all the highlight goes. So good, babe. So good, babe. Bridge of my nose, chin, and the fan up there. But then I want to brighten it up a little bit, so I use that um, Kat Von D neutral concealer. It's very white, as you can see. So that helps me brighten it up a little bit and gives me a little more coverage and make sure that the concealer stays in put. Like, I'm telling you, lock it concealer, literally that lock it. Lock it in there. So here I'm just pretty much um, blending everything as you guys know. This is no rocket science. This is you don't need a bachelor's degree or master's degree to blend your concealer. <laughs> just make sure that you don't go over that um, shadow that you put on your bottom lash line. I always do that. So now I'm going in with the powder, Kat Von D Locket Translucent Powder, just to make sure that everything is okay. Everything is like locked in there. And again, I don't care much about the glow and the foundation. So why would you wear glow foundation and then um, set it with powder? Uh, that's the reason. And then I'm going with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm using those two light colors in the corner, the light powder and the banana color to set my under eyes. I start with the banana first and then after I set it with the banana color. I know it has its name but I like to call it banana in white. Then I'm using the um, shadow play for my contour. I contour my cheekbones and the temples of my fuzz. It's very, these, these things are very intense. And I'm telling you, that brush right there is holy girl. It's from Pixie. And I am loving that brush for my contour and highlight. Actually, for my setting and my contour. So, yeah, just blending, bringing some warmth into my face. And this is totally up to you. This is totally extra. I am contouring my nose because since I'm doing like a very dramatic makeup I might as well just contour my nose so pretty much just contouring my nose with that um, same palette and then we're using the Anastasia and Nicole glow kit like yes baby yes I'm dredging myself I'm using these two colors I'm using the daydream and the glow glow getter and I'm mixing those two colors and I am applying them and I'm making them look like a million bucks and I went to town on this highlight actually. I didn't show it on camera, but I did went to town. After I finished filming, I went in and applied more. <laughs> I just want to look like a crispy cream donut. So cheeks, I actually applied it on the temples of my, I'm um, sorry, on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow. I'm using this new Dura Cosmetics lipstick in between the cheeks and it's a beautiful mauve, I'm sorry, it's a beautiful nude color. I would say it's more like a peachy nude. That's what I'm going for. It's a peachy nude color. Then I'm topping it. Actually, I wanted to make it a little bit more nude. I didn't think it was going to be that peachy. It's still beautiful though. I'm using the Measurable Differences um, liquid lipsticks, which I am obsessed with. And I'm using their color Nude. I will link it down below so you can actually get them. They're like $5.99 and they're so, so pigmented and beautiful. So there you have it girls. This is my completed look and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Again, it's my first time so please um, don't be so harsh on myself. Again, thank you guys for watching.
hope you enjoy the tutorial. I really hope that it was well visible and that you were able to, um, I don't know, maybe get ideas to create this look or recreate this look. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope it's something that you like. And if you did like this tutorial and you want to see more spring makeup look, then just go ahead and give this video a big ol' thumbs up. See, dos deditos para arriba. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. So on the bottom, right over there on that subscribe button, just click it. Click that subscribe button. Ain't gonna do nothing to ya. It's just gonna change your life. <laughs> and as usual, all my social media, it is down below. So um, yeah, go ahead and follow me on my social medias, on my Instagrams, on my Snapchats. All the junk you guys already know. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for sticking till the end. And as usual, be blessed, precious pearls. Besotes. I'll see you ladies on my next video. Bye.